On December 8th, 2022, we went to see Blackpink in Cologne. Or in Köln. Köln? Blackpink. When I tell you I have never prepared myself more for anything than I have prepared myself for this concert. I literally got my nails done, like, especially just for the concert. Um, I bought an entire outfit. I went out to the store i bought an entire outfit i dyed my hair okay i'm seeing black paint today i had a mental breakdown the day before the night before um when i was like packing my bag i was like damn i'm really seeing black pink tomorrow because it just felt so surreal to me it's like hi guys oh no hi guys i know what you're thinking probably you're like why is she crying because it's the night before and I just realized that I'm fucking seeing Blackpink. I FaceTimed my friends. None of them picked up. So I'm just here suffering by myself. So I was like, I can vlog this. I would like to embarrass myself. So it's the night before. I still have a lot to do. Um, and I feel like crying. <laughs> I'm listening to Love Sick Girls. And it's just hitting all the spots. Like, it's so good. Um, I love them so much. And I'm so excited. Also, yes, I did get my nails done. Just for Blackpink. Flashback. <laughs> End of flashback. Look how cute. I'll probably show like a better you but like look this is the logo like the one with the h&m collab anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow maybe if i don't have another mental breakdown um i love black pink so much my, my babies did well with the preparations i think early the next morning hi it is currently seven something yeah, getting ready for like pink. I'm doing my hair because I was like, oh, I really want to sleep yesterday. So I have to pack my bag. So it says on our way here. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I think I got most of my stuff. I did my hair. Um, also, if you're wondering why I was like packing now, it's because I decided to sleep last night. Now I did everything last minute. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything and, you know, otherwise we'll see. So now I'm waiting on Sosa to come pick me up. Let's go. For some reason, I still didn't sleep. Like I... I genuinely, I, I thought I'd learn from my mistakes from previous concert. Like, there's no way that I'm not sleeping. We have to sleep. I still didn't sleep well. Made it over to, um, oh no, first I went to my mom's house because my mom lives close to Islam. And I ate at my mom's. I was like, I'm not doing that stuff at my home. I'm eating at my mom's house. I'm eating my mom's food. I need that energy. Good morning, guys. Back at my mom's. Going to eat some rice for breakfast because the energy is low and we need to be up high pretty soon for the concert it's just a one hour drive to Köln, so cologne bro whatever germany <laughs> kill <Kühle. laughs> corn um gonna pick up islam in like 15 minutes so quick eatings but see you when I see her. <laughs> a rice and stew. I love my mommy's food. Do 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 
went over to Islam, picked her up. All right, we just ate and on the way to get this done. Just like a few minutes. So see you in a bit. It gave me chocolate milk. Moon. I was like, oh, should we stop somewhere on the way to, to Köln? Bro, it's just a, <laughs> so short. We got there so quickly. Got the ultimate born pink experience, which was basically the highest VIP package that there was available. So we go to Köln. It was very fun. It was, we were listening to Blackpink on the way. I was vibing. So, so was sleeping because she was tired. She didn't sleep. Because we had the ultimate born pink experience, we were able to park at the venue. So we got there. I was like, oh, so it's literally next to the venue. We drive inside. Okay, so it was a little hectic. We were like separated and then we couldn't find each other. And um, like, it was hectic anyway, but. We managed to find each other again and we checked in. We got our wristbands. So now we're gonna change, mm -hmm. get ready, and, and then go inside. Go inside. Yes! <laughs> okay. And the way we got out of the car and went up to like to go check in for like our, our bracelets and stuff, wristbands for, for the um, for the VIP experience, it was literally like okay, we parked, we went, we walked up, we crossed the the place from the parking to the venue, and it was literally right there. So we were able to like just check in right there and get our bracelets and then go inside. Like all the other people were still waiting outside. Meanwhile, it's december it's cold like but we were able to like i cannot tell you how valuable it is to have a package where you are able to like leave your all of your stuff behind because it's so close to each other so we were able to leave our bags behind like our, our jackets and everything and just go like already prepared for the concert go inside queue up for uh, merch talk to other people in line like it was it was such a it was such a nice experience i could go to the bathroom without even worrying about stuff like you don't understand like we've been to concerts k-pop concerts for like a while now like we've we've had experiences we've had experiences but now this was the most like i i know it's very controversial like the the ticketing price has been very controversial and i understand because it's like insanely priced But at the same time, I feel like the value for money is worth it. We just got in. Um, we got our wristbands. We we dressed up. We got dressed. Sorry. <laughs> got dressed and now we're in the queue. Inside, at least, luckily. Wait, I can't quite... <laughs> we waited inside and it was mid-december and i was wearing a crop top she was wearing a dress so it was like very nice then we waited in line for merch yeah dude like hi thank you currently queuing we just got a merch minus uh, my waist i got the hoodie and then i wore it so what was even the point of like <laughs> buying clothes for the concert if i was gonna conceal my whole outfit by the hoodie but it's okay i still it was it was nice it was nice to have and now we're waiting for the sound check party um vip party Why? No. yeah 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the one. Got the knockers out. No, the knockers are covered. It's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an exciting day. The merch stand is like, oh, where's the merch stand? I can't find it. Can't find it. Don't want to invade anyone's privacy. Yeah, we wait. Yeah, we will uh, get back to you when we're inside in the VIP lounge. Currently moving up, moving up. The party is gonna start. The party. We had a little VIP party. That was so cute. Also, everything was black and pink. Like the light inside the venue, it was pink. Like everything was pink, and then the decorations were so cute. Everything was like glittery and cute and sparkly and pink and black. That's nice. That's nice. You go down some stairs, they give you this VIP goodie bag and it's like filled with stuff that is so will show you. And then I remember that there were two like two people coming up to us, very very nice people. They were like, "Oh hey, like we love your videos, we love your channel," and they were so cute and so nice. So thank you for coming up to us. That was so nice. I didn't expect anyone to recognize us because Blackpink has a big fandom, um, but that was very nice. Thank you for coming up to us. You were very cute. <laughs> I love your videos. We your videos. Just videos. Like I love you guys so much. Like, I was rewatching your reactions because I didn't, I was like having nothing to do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So, so nice. nice. So nice. Really. <laughs> we love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just want to say that. <laughs> Sorry for this video, but we love you. No worries. No worries. No worries. Your, the happiest your reaction is like you. I want you guys here. Yeah. Oh my god. How can you know? As we were going into that space right at the end of the stairs, we got like our goodie bas uh, bags, which for me, like, I, I'm such a, I'm such a simple bitch. Like, honestly, give me a good tote bag that can close and I'm yours. Like, literally got a tote bag with black pink on it. And like inside was like, I only brought like a few things. Like we had like the, like obviously the VIP lanyard, which it's like little things like this that really does it for me like what do you mean i pay for a vip package and you don't get a lanyard like that doesn't make sense in my head to me like this is something that even though even if you wouldn't get anything like like nowadays like your tickets are online like everything you don't have like a physical representation of unless you get merch you don't have a physical representation of the fact that you went you know like this is something that I will always be able to keep with me. And it says Europe and like you have the girls behind it and it has like the, the names of the cities they went to. It's so tiny. It's not, it's like a lot of people will be like, like, I don't care. But like, for me, this is like, 
when I'm old and gray, like at least, and I'll have like only like a box of a few of my things, like at least this lanyard will be in there with, with this thing. And I'll know like, oh yeah, I don't remember a lot of it, but at least I went and it was memorable. Not me getting emotional because of the lanyard, but like this is my, this is my whole point. Like you can put a price on experiences. <laughs> You go in and there's like standees, like cut out standees of black pink there and it's like a photo booth and they take your picture with a Polaroid camera and you get to keep the camera and then there was like a DJ um, who was like playing like YG artist songs, like remixing them and stuff, it was very nice. <laughs> check right now it's very nerve-wracking we got barricade I can't believe this Black pig, pig, What's going 
on? What's going on? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna hang up. Go on stage for the picture. Love Lisa. Love Rosie. Love Jenny. Love Jisoo. Darling. Jisoo was actually scotty. Do you have a slipper for Lord? Cute. Jenny had this over news. Okay guys, so we just had um, the sound check. Okay right? Yes. We just had the sound check uh, event and then we had the picture on stage, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Then we came back to like our barricade position. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny because then like they merged VIP 2 and 3 with us VIP 1. And it was, hey. <laughs> and it was so funny because it's like a step-by-step -step process. Mm -hmm. Our side was super, super, super okay, super dope. The other side, kind of like uh, they have a lot of problems. Yeah, I don't know. Our What's side going is on? better. This side is a it's, this side is a cool side. Um, so yeah, now we gotta wait two more hours. Two more hours. 
for the concert. So. Do you guys want to see a magic trick? Ta da! Black Pink! Black Pink! Oh, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing! Straight to the light, whoa, whoa, whoa! Straight to the light, ha, ha, ha!
It was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> it felt amazing. Okay, I cannot explain to you. Hearing all those songs live is an experience that I cannot, like I said, explain to you. You need to experience that in order to experience things. Because otherwise you wouldn't know if you had experienced things because you'd never experienced it, you know? I remember after, I think it was the fourth song lovesick girls where it was like the first time that they were actually like in front of us and they were singing lovesick girls which is one of my favorite songs like top three favorite blackpink songs and i was like looking at them i heard it and then lisa did the one two lovesick girls and i started crying i was cry i was no it sunk in i was like okay i'm seeing blackpink this is blackpink i'm listening to lovesick girls i'm having the time of my life i am obsessed like i was crying I, i got so emotional it was crazy it was i was so blown away oh my god i was like enjoying it so much and the girls were like having fun in front of me and i was like this is literally what i've like you know when like you envision something and you're like okay i'm gonna be front row and i'm gonna have such a nice time it was exactly that it was like my imagination came to a reality and i was so happy i was so 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 happy i don't want to sound corny but it was magical i'm not gonna lie the whole concert itself was amazing i was screaming the entire concert remember how i said i was calm yeah that was after up until loves the girls after that i was a mess i screamed Like, I don't have proper videos to show you guys because I scream in every single one of them, especially Love's, um, Rosé's solos. Oh my God, I ruined those videos for myself. I really did. Um, just like the way she was like teasing it. Ain't no magic tool to fix it. And then she stopped for like five seconds. And I was like, no, I can't bear this. Like, I'm gonna, the video is in the video, so... You can watch it. You can hear it yourself. <sighs> Best day of my life. Nah. God loves me. Honestly. I don't know what to say. And now they're here right in front of my salad. Wow. That was wild. That was wild. And so sweet. Seeing the girls real life up close was such a different feeling. Jenny is an absolute angel. She enjoys every single second that she is on that stage. Like you could tell that she was like having, she was really living in it. Like she was basking in every single second, like in every cheer and every scream, like everything that happened. There was a certain moment like where she was in front of us. She was just like doing these. And I was like, girl, stop. I'm gonna cry. Cause I was like, I'm so happy that she's happy. Because I love Blackpink. Especially Jenny. Like, she was so... It didn't feel like she was performing. It felt like we were both at a house party and she just happens to sing and dance well. And I don't know how to do any of that. And I was just I was just vibing and looking at her. That's how it felt. Like, it didn't feel like there was a barricade or there was a stage. It just felt like this huge party and she was just the most gorgeous person in the world that was just happened to be at the same party as i was that's how it felt like and then i remember jisoo is just and then fucking jisoo i don't understand how she is the oldest because she was such a baby she's so cute she is so cute i love her so much her stage presence she's like smiling and she's having like fun she's laughing all the time she's walking around she's waving and she has the cutest little wave like she's she is giving it all on stage i love seeing her energy on stage i love it i do not know who started this rumor that she doesn't like to perform or that she doesn't want to do a solo meanwhile she's getting her solo she's fucking getting her solo And also, I witnessed this with my own two fucking eyes. You cannot convince me that she was meant to do anything else in her life other than what she's doing right now. Who came up with these lies? Also, do you really think that if Jisoo wanted to do something else that she wouldn't be doing something else? 
Lisa was literally made to be on stage. Also, Lisa, like. I don't know. I don't care what anyone says. Lisa was born a performer. We say it often like this Lisa was born for the stage. The stage as a concept was created for Lisa. Because she amazed me with how. I don't even know how to say it. she was consistent throughout everything like talking to us performing singing dancing rapping she was there the whole time that is it's it's sickening like the whole entertainment industry came to this point so that lisa could become one like become an entertainment it's it's, it's sick how she is on stage like without even trying it feels like breeding to her it feels like her second nature like it's it's insane the way you know how to walk is how she knows how to perform that's the way that's how good she is like it's insane every single even if she was like it was not her turn or like she was just dancing in the back she was still like giving everything she was smiling at everyone she was her body guys the way she dances i swear i was obsessed and i, I can't believe i saw that stuff front row very good like the way she can like still interact with you guys but also then immediately fall back in line when she has to do something information with the girls like it's sick it's sick and she really she really just like gave everybody attention if that makes sense i don't think anybody in front row did not get a glimpse of her or didn't that you didn't meet eyes or their lock eyes or their like there's no way I would not believe you if you claimed that that didn't happen. Like you, you definitely got an interaction. She's 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 just so sweet. Her smile. We did not need lights. It lights up the room. Like, <sighs> and then of course Rose, the love of my life, if I dare say so. <sighs> and I know we say that Lisa's one of is the best dancer in Blackpink, but have you seen Rose dance? <gasps> she's insane she's the most beautiful woman i've seen ethereal she is an angel she's literally so she was very happy she was like jumping the whole time she was i have so many videos of her just jumping around and like singing and then and she was like she's if rose's the way she moves on stage was a font it would be cursive <laughs> i was so no i was so impressed by i was so impressed i was I was so impressed. Like she goes hard. She's so tiny, but she throws that around. She really knows how to get that. Like, put some respect on their names. Because she's like doing like I don't know. It's so cute and it's so nice to see and it's so rosé. I love her. Her energy was again amazing. Her voice. Oh my god amazing like literally no no one no one can out sing her <laughs> she's amazing okay i'm ranting but best performers best performance to everyone and anyone that ever said that blackpink's concerts were bad or not good you're a liar a manipulator a cheater <laughs> i don't care you're lying blah 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 about blackpink i'm like bro I know for a fact you didn't go. That's how I know you didn't go. Because if you went, if you went, you wouldn't have said, you wouldn't have said all of that. You would not have said all of that. That's how I know you guys are liars. That's how I know you guys didn't go. Because the people that went, oh my God, you cannot convince me. Like, and it's probably people that didn't even see Blackpink in real life because everyone that I know that, that have seen them in real life are saying how incredible and amazing they are. But that doesn't even matter because I saw them real life up close and I can tell you with 100% confidence that they are such amazing performers. They really know how to like give a concert. Like it was so cool and they really know how to like get you immersed in what they're feeling, if that makes sense. If you guys have the opportunity, I just want to say, 
you need to go. And then we had like, because we were the ultimate born pink experience, we had send off, which is basically after the show, you get to say bye to them. They come up and they like greet everyone and they say hi, like take pictures with some. Concert just finished and now we're waiting for send off. I'm literally shaking, guys. So basically when we were getting ready i bought this cheap ass one euro lead light strip for your hair um and i was like you know i've always wanted to use it but i never could find a proper like moment because it was like pink and i was like what other concert to use it for than for black pink so we were in the parking lot before the concert and i asked so so like braid it into my hair so i could like because if i was gonna just pin it it was not gonna work so i had like a braid with the lead light wired into it um and i turned it on during the concert during the send-off and the girls come and they're like waving and saying hi um lisa was pretty quick because there was a person next to us who spoke thai um so they were having a conversation and i was i was not even mad about it because you know you do you girl she just looked at us for like a millisecond but it's okay she's beautiful she's gorgeous she's outseller then jenny and jisoo were like arm in arm so they came together and i was like hi like you were amazing like you know i was like what do i even say so i was like hi you were amazing and then jenny was like oh thank you and she was like i love your hair and i was like what <laughs> you love my hair and she was like literally stood stood still for like one second she was like it's so cute and Jesus was like wow guys guys i levitated i don't know what the fuck was going on i was like you are complimenting me you are me okay i know i paid for this but you me <laughs> i was not even expecting like anything like that to happen i was just expecting like oh hi thank you you know like that's everything i've ever had if i ever like paid for those things it was like small like something small like a little thank you or oh haha ha, like a little answer 
Jenny literally said that she liked my hair, like the lad light. She was like, that's so cute. And then like, I missed my opportunity to talk to Lisa well. Like I, I saw her, she smiled, but like, by the time that Jenny and Jisoo came, I was like, oh my God, it went too fast. I was like, hey, thank you so much for the show. It was amazing. And they kind of like just acknowledged it and just said like, oh, thank you for coming. But then I was like, by the time Rosé came, okay, I was like, no, I, I can't believe like, it was like zero out of three, like the things that I wanted to say <laughs> and the things that I wanted to do. I was like, I gotta make it count for Rosé. I really have to. And then I still said the most generic shit. <laughs> like i blanked because she really made eye contact you know like she saw that i was gonna say something and i started saying what i wanted to say so she was like really listening and engaging which made me feel some type of way i was like oh okay you're like <laughs> we're really gonna have a conversation and you're making eye contact on listening no this is throwing me off <laughs> So I was like, oh my god, you were really amazing up there. I was so impressed. And she was like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, so oh my god. When I tell you, like, I'm going to cry thinking about it again. <sighs> and then um, we, Rosé came. She was last. I'm so I'm so I'm so happy that she was last because I, you know how I do with meeting my ults in real life. I don't do well if they're like first. Um, she was last, and then I was like, she was talking to Sosa first. Like they were like conversating and like talking and laughing, and it was so cute. And then um, she came over to my side, and I was like, hi, like I love you so much. Um, I admire you so much. You inspire me and you motivate me. And she was like. <laughs> She was like, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. And she like blew a kiss. And then um, she was walking and she was like, oh, I love your hair. Like she li literally did like this. And I was like, thank you. Guys, <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I haven't thought about this in a hot minute, even though it's literally like on the back of my phone. Even though it's literally like here, this whole interaction, not even all. Oh my gosh, I turned it into a live photo. I'm a genius. Um, but yeah, my alt bias, my ultimate bias, the love of my life, my wifey, my everything complimented my hair. And she knows that I love and admire and I respect her and, and, and mo she motivates me. Like she knows that now and she knows of my existence. But yeah, it went by pretty fast, but also not fast because we were still looking at them because they were doing, you know, the other people. But the other people, that's why I didn't want it to be one of the first. They, like, got to take pictures with them and videos with them. Definitely OT4. For sure. I don't know where people get this idea that I'm OT3. <laughs> Weirdos. OT4 all the way. Best day of my life, honestly, if I'm being very honest. It was very cute. Then we, afterwards, we went to the McDonald's and there were so many blanks. Like we were going to drive through, like you could hear Blackpink music, you could see Blackpink merchandise. We talked about the concert in the hotel. It was very nice. It was very cozy. Um, then we went to the Christmas market the next day in case of running into Blackpink, which we didn't. But then later they all posted pictures, like Jenny and Jisoo did, that they went to that same Christmas market on different times. So, yeah, it is okay. I had a blast. I hope this was had a blast. She did. <laughs> and then, yes, I'm very glad and happy to be able to share this with you guys. And that I can talk to, to my whole entire experience to someone. If you're watching this, thank you very much for listening to my rants. I hope you skipped through some parts. But yeah. Thank you. So I just want to say, Stan, Blackpink, you won't regret it. You literally not regret it. Like, honestly, you literally not regret it. And I understand a lot of people get turned off by things that are very popular. But get over yourself, okay? And enjoy yourself, all right? And with that, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next. Bye. I'm not a